Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I want to talk to you about how sales tax works within QuickBooks Online. Specifically, how does QuickBooks know to put sales tax on your invoice and how to find the total of the sales tax you've collected. So let's just make an invoice real quick. I'm going to go to plus new, going to go to invoice. I'm going to pick a customer. Let's pick Duncan. We'll make it today's date. We'll make it all this. We'll just leave it as it is. Um, product and service. Uh, let's do plumbing services. Okay. So plumbing services and we'll say um, groovy plumbing thing. Uh, one service, um, we will call it $358 because it's $358 as I record this. Um, what we want to do is we want to indicate where that took place. O oftentimes your sales tax is going to be based on the client's location, not based on your location. So I realized that we picked the make-believe client of Duncan, um, but my favorite place to get bagels is Blazin' Bagels. And so we're just going to make their address our make believe address for this exercise. Um, if you're in the area, play some bagels. Um, some good times. Okay. So the location of the sale is the location where my client is at. Doesn't matter where my billing address is. I have this service. I want to click the box for tax, indicating that sales tax does apply to this service. If there was additional services and sales tax didn't apply, I wouldn't click the box for it. As I scoot down, I can see my subtotal is $358. My tax is $36, that it's based on location. Location is over here, the location of the sale. It has nothing to do with this nonsense I was playing with earlier with location and location one. I'm going to go ahead and click save. If you're at all curious how QuickBooks figures this out, you can click on see the math. And then it says, okay, Washington State is this percentage. Redmond is that percentage. Here's your grand total. Okay, cool beans. Um, so that is it. Let me receive a payment because I want to show you where this shows up in the tax report. So we'll say he's given us a check. It's check number one, two, three. It goes into checking number one. Um, save and close. If you're not sure about the invoices and the receipt payment, I've got videos for it, or I can help you if you get stuck. So let's go really the sales tax. Let's go to the left hand side, go to taxes, go to sales tax and say, okay, QuickBooks, what can you tell me? And QuickBooks says, well, the sales tax, um, you've told QuickBooks, you're going to pay it once a year. Uh, you, you won't actually have to pay it until 2024. But this $36, that's the running balance. That's the amount of tax you have collected that you're going to need to turn into the state. It was never your money to begin with. If you're curious, like if this is one we just did, it, we know exactly what it is. But pretend like it's a bigger number and you're not sure about it. What you can do is you can come over to reports on the right and you can run the tax liability report. Quick post, so think for a second. And it'll say, okay, here's your tax liability. And you're like, yeah, yeah, but I want to know more. <laughs> you can just click on, I would probably click on the state because if you're working with various cities, you'll always have the right number for the state and then different numbers for the cities. So click on it. Whenever you click on a number, it brings the detail behind the number. And then you'll have a list of your invoices. So in our make believe situation, the one invoice. I hope this video has been helpful. I never really know what people want to know about sales tax. So if you're watching this and you're saying, gosh, I wish I could find a report for X or Y, or I need help understanding something different, just let me know. All right. Thank you so much. If my team or I can do anything to help you, please don't hesitate to reach out.